Hey there ladies and gentlemen, this is Conquer Double One. Thank you for watching this video and I guess that you actually came to this video to learn something about uh, blocking uh, uh, the player's hero's characters going on to areas that you do not want them to be. Uh, fortunately, I managed to, to uh, discover that by chance I was trying to figure out how to solve those very problems as uh, that I've mentioned. Uh, since the uh, the Dota 2 uh, workshop tools are still in the alpha stages, the de the uh, the developer wiki page is still incomplete. There's still a lot of information that's still missing regarding about its textures, its uh, triggers, functions, and etc. So, uh, what this video will do is to share with you about uh, some of the problems that I face in. Uh, some of the solutions that I managed to come up with. So in this particular video, it's about how to stop uh, uh, the player's uh, heroes from teleporting or blinking onto areas that you do not want them to be. So in, this is my um, my first map, actually the the one map that I'm actually still in the midst of working on. It's called Maze Steps. You guys can try it later if you wish. Um, I actually got some. Uh, uh, comments, some feedback from some of my friends who tested out my version 1 and uh, I'm actually making some changes to try to make it uh, more playable, more fun, that is. And one particular thing that they mentioned was that the heroes can blink onto these areas. And these areas are not, uh, are actually uh, uh, impromptu walls that I actually raised as part of the terrain and I, did, and I had no intention for them to actually bring it onto them and that's a big problem so fortunately the solution is very simple so I'm just going to go through step by step you'll be very surprised where it is first we'll go to the active material on the bottom right if uh, I'm, I'm, I'm uh, using the uh, default layout so you just uh, try to see if you can follow it uh, with me uh, as we go along it essentially it is the, uh, the texture library so we actually go to the once you click on browse type in tools and just scroll upwards. So what you want to look for, right, is a clip called Tools Hero Clip. Uh, this will essentially block off uh, any physical interaction with uh, of um, of the heroes. That means, like, once you actually put that down with a brush, your heroes cannot go into it. They cannot even land into it. Even if you try to teleport into it, it they would just appear on the edges of that block, uh, um, uh, of that brush. Uh, in case you don't know what I mean by brush, I'm going to show you right now. So let me just double click on this to select, or you can just click on accept, right? And now ensure that it's actually appearing as hero clip. Then you click on uh, the block tool or press shift B shortcut and then you just simply create a drag uh, selection mesh like so alright I'm going to just create a simple one like so okay so that encompasses this area I'm going to create it around uh, surrounding the uh, the player spawning area so let me just oopsie Oh, and by the way, once you actually uh, determine the shape of the, uh, the uh, of the block itself, in this case, brush or block, just press enter. You actually ensure that it actually appears there. Right now, it appears empty, uh, invisible, just showing you the outline. It's because I actually deactivated the uh, this particular key over here, the show editor only objects. I would turn them on and off because uh, by default they are actually on. So if you actually turn it on, you see the grids on the map itself. I find them from time to time rather annoying and so I do would actually turn it off but in this case you will want to see where your brushes are actually affecting so it's going to be very important so I'm going to just okay and I'm going to just create a copy by just pressing and holding down the shift key it creates a duplicate and then I'm going to press the E, uh, uh, press the uh, uh, the E letter on the keyboard to scale it. Press T, drag it over here. By the way, you can actually just click on the key uh, on these icons on the side to actually do those functions that I just did. So this is move, 
or trans uh, translate. Uh, this is rotate, and this is scale. Uh, so let me just move that again. Press and hold Shift to make a duplicate, like so. Okay, I just want to make sure that it actually covers up the areas that I would like to. Doesn't block out anything unnecessary. So let me just move this over here a bit. Oopsie, I think. Right, right, okay, it's good. Uh, even if they intersect with each other, it's um, it shouldn't actually pose any particular problem, so, so it should be fine. Alright, so I think I'm pretty much done. Uh, generally, I would want to be a bit more, you know, just, just cover, uh, cover up these empty spots, but for now, this is just an, an example. So, uh, by now, if I actually spawn here, my hero should not be able to go into these areas. So I'm going to show you that right now. But since this is empty, that means the players can get through here. All right. So I'm going to save this map, press F9, and click on Build. I'm just going to click on Full Compile Build. I don't need the Create Minimap and Load. And we're going to wait for a while. Depending on the size of a map, uh, how much stuff it is, it could mean that the uh, the bake um, that the uh, the baking of the map could take a while. Uh, so, but uh, from my past experience with Hammer, the the old Hammer interface, I have to say that this new version of Hammer is quite a, a refreshing change. Though I still kind of miss the uh, the texture tool, where I can just uh, apply the textures to the faces. Um, with the new hammer interface, it doesn't seem to actually have that feature anymore. So when you're going to try to create brushes and you realize that, oh no, so, uh, that it's the incorrect texture, I realized I couldn't really change it. So I haven't really got much information about the new interface yet um, since it is still uh, in, in the alpha phase. So maybe that might uh, they may change soon it, maybe it could be a new feature who knows uh, but for now if you're going to create brushes first ensure that you select the uh, the uh, the texture that you want before you actually create the brush so it's going to take a while now it's uh, directly loading it into the Dota um, the Dota game it's an offline version so you won't have to worry about uh, being connected to the internet but then again steam requires you to connect to the internet so <laughs> and i'm not really sure if ultimately the entire tool process still requires your connection to internet or not so is it loading yet well come on and jeez It should be loading soon. Okay, I think it's up. There we go. Choose your hero. I'm just gonna click a random hero, click on play. Very good. Now I'll break their spirits and their backs. Now remember that the brush is actually on Prepare the for battle. So even if I try to travel normally to it, there's no way I can do so. <clears throat> issue here is regarding about teleporting so I need to activate the cheats here so by pressing the tilt button uh, the, the tilt key which is the uh, the keyboard key that's on the left side of the uh, the number one key with the exclamation mark okay and then the uh, the V console tool uh, will, will appear and then you need to type in in the command line right here which is already highlighted by default SV underscore cheats which is like a standard and then followed by one this will activate the cheats within the scene I also want to uh, let's see ability debug one this 30 seconds to battle okay this will uh, disable or rather just uh, cause all uh, ability cooldowns to be put to zero and then finally let me just press the tilt button again to go, make it go away and I need get some cash so press the enter that you go into the chat box
the battle begins. <laughs> hyphen gold and any value that you want and you and you see that it actually fills up your cash over here, the gold. Now we'll click on shop and look for the blink dagger. Buy it. There we go. Now now if the brush isn't here, I will have been able to blink onto it. But now I'm gonna show you that I can't do that. Oh there we go. See that? So so the brush itself, uh I guess my coverage wasn't that good. It still actually missed out this particular area which is easily rectifiable but the point is is that whatever that the brush is covered with that particular texture it definitely works just go over here so this side see, see that? Couldn't get here how about here couldn't work here Good. so that means it's the working. beast of all worlds so to pr so let me just go into here can I go into here which if you recall there are no brushes over here uh, no, so, there you go. So Upon this, this plane. Is one particular problem that I had. So I hope that this will help solve one of uh, one of uh, your problems in your map making. And uh, if you like it, please uh, do share this information with the others and uh, uh, other fellow level creators. I will also try to see if I can update the developer wiki page on the Valve Software uh, wiki website uh, in regards to this. So uh, thank you for watching and I hope to see you soon.